Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a system called Snowflake OS. Snowflake OS is a Nix OS based Linux distribution focused on beginner friendliness and ease of use. So I'm here on their website and they do have a GitHub, Discord and Matrix. Uh, one thing I want to bring to your attention is that this is a alpha download, not yet ready for daily use. All right, so if it's something you want to test out, go ahead and test it out. But it tells you clearly here that it's not for daily use. All right, so let's head on over to the uh, virtual machine and take a look at Snowflake OS. All right. After uh, numerous attempts to try to install it, I tried basic, I tried advanced, none of it works. So we're just gonna do a live CD uh, first look. So I'm just gonna click right here where it says, try Snowflake OS live. And this is the desktop and it is running GNOME. Uh, we'll find out what version of GNOME in a sec. But uh, yeah, it's GNOME, have the panel on top, got a system tray on the right, activities on the left, and a calendar in the middle. So let's click on activities and let's look at our applications. So this is our uh, application launcher right here, or some call it launch pad. And looks like there's not really much installed here, but uh, I know that NixOS uses its own uh, installation uh, manager. It has its own package manager and it's an independent system. It's not Debian, it's not Arch, not Fedora. It's an independently based system. So there is a Nix OS manual here. So uh, let's take a look at that just to see what it says and see if we can find out some uh, information about it. And we got a message about setting up the default browser. Ah, I'm fine with that. Go ahead. And right here, if you want to know everything about Nix OS, you have the manual here. So you start at preface installation and you just go down the line and anything you want to learn about it, you should be able to find it right here. And then you also have a list of examples. So if there's some examples you want to see, I'm guessing that you will find them here. So yeah, you have a manual for NixOS on here. So if you want to learn anything about NixOS, you'll be able to do it from that, uh, that link right there. All right. And since I got a uh, Firefox opened up, let's uh, see what version it is. I'm assuming it's Firefox. Okay, help opens up help. Yeah, it's probably not Firefox. Uh, about web. So this is just going to be web from the GNOME project. And it looks like it's 44.6. So it may be GNOME 44.6. All right, let's get back to the activities and down to, uh, let's take a look at our pin application. So this is install snowflakes and uh, that didn't work already. So we also have Gparted, Software Center, Files, Console, and Web. So let's open up Gparted. And this is basically to uh, manage your uh, drives, drives, thumb drives, USB plug-in drives. Pretty much you can manage everything here on uh, Gparted. And this is Gparted, so right here, if you want to edit your drive and uh, make changes to it, you can do it right here. Then you got your selections on top. And on the about, it says Gparted 1.5.0. And back to the uh, pinned items, we have the uh, software center. So this is a live CD, but let's see if we can install something on here. First, let me just go back to here, look at the applications. So basically I can see everything that's here. So I'll try to install GIMP and see if uh, that'll work. So I'll go to search, type, and I'll type in GIMP. And there it is. Click on it. It did manage to finally install, but it looked like it wasn't doing nothing, but uh. You know how it is when you can be impatient, start looking at things and, but let's see how this works. Ah, and it did work. So we got GIMP 
And uh, I think it was 2.10 or 36 or 34. There you go. All right. So, yeah, the installer did work. Going about Nick Software Center, Victor Fuentes, 0.1.2. Let's open up the software manager, click on it, click on install and see. I mean, this is uh, alpha, so it's not even it's not even a beta. So. All right, go full screen with the file manager and let's take a look at the about and it is files. Files, the known project, 44.2.1. All right, so it looks like a VLC did install, so. So I'll try that. All right, so yeah, VLC did install. All right. So I'll do Audacity. And I'll just click on install and I'll just fast forward this little part so you guys don't have to wait with me. All right. And that installed. So instead of opening it from here, let me go to activities. See if it shows up here. I believe it did because we have a new page now. And there it is. Audacity. I can close this now. And there we go. All right, so yeah, if you want to install programs, you have to use a software manager. But this is not, remember, this is not NixOS. This is Snowflake OS. It's based on NixOS. But uh, the way they got it set up is that uh, you have to go directly through their package manager to install everything, which is not a problem, you know. But that's the way it's set up. All right. Well, this was a quick look at our Snowflake OS. And like I said, this is just a live CD first look. So it's not a, it's not like I have this in a virtual machine and actually using it. I'm using the live CD here because it wouldn't install. All right. And also from the website, it did tell us it was an alpha. So it's not a, it's not even close to being ready for uh production. So with that being said, I'll still have the uh, homepage and download links down in the video description. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at it yourself, by all means, feel free to do so. Just, you know, I told you in the beginning of the video and I'm telling you now, this is an alpha. It's not ready for being used. So if you decide to install it on your system yourself, you did it to yourself. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. All right. That's going to do it for me. And I'm out.